Planet X and Earth pole shift, when will it happen? Planet X passes by Earth in its elongated 3,600 plus year orbit of two suns, one viable the other a dark gravitational mass. Planet X, we know it is there in the glare next to the sun hidden from view, but when will it come into view? Let's first look at what that means with some Zeta talk science. The orbit of Planet X, PX, is a sling orbit or an orbit that is oblate. It is this way as Planet X has two foci, our Sun and its stead binary twin which are 68.7 trillion miles from each other, therefore a slinging between two heavenly objects and not a round or elliptical orbit shape characteristic of a single foci orbit. This sling orbit makes our Sun and Solar System only a pass-through point within the sling orbit circuit see above image. This is important to understand. This means that Planet X is bound to pass by Earth since its orbit path extends beyond our Solar System. Hence, once outbound, Planet X will continue moving away from us for several years then do a turnaround for its return trip for its outbound portion of its sling orbit to the binary twin. Zeta Talk says that this return part of the cycle takes Planet X through our solar system again on the far side of the Sun. But where will Earth be at that time in its orbit and why does that matter? Well, we are stopped now in orbit and we hardly know it. Yet will we be stopped again? How will Earth be affected? The Zetas don't say, but they do say it will be much less of a problem for Earth and no second pole shift, just some worldwide earthquakes at the time. Earth, Planet X and the Sun Earth halted its orbit in December of 2003 but is slowly being pushed backwards due the also stymied, but very slowly progressing Planet X. The Sun is the orbital foci of both planets and remains as part of the lineup sustained by the the laws of orbital dynamics. The Earth, Planet X and Sun lineup explained. Since Planet X is sling orbiting our Sun, it passes through our solar system relatively close to its foci, our Sun. As an aside, many millennia ago, this was not the case. The Planet X passage area was within the asteroid belt which used to be populated with a few planets, but they were broken down into the asteroids that are there now. Now, when Planet X entered our solar system in 2002 it was temporarily visible far from the Sun, from our sky view perspective, but that was only for a few months as it quickly traversed the inner solar system. Image number 1, where it met the Sun's gravity repulsion force slowing its progress dramatically. Planet X then partially circumnavigated the Sun to the ecliptic where it is now. Image number 3, situated between the Earth and the Sun. Also consider that Earth has been stopped in orbit due to diverted particle flows passing around Planet X capturing Earth in what Zeta Talk calls a particle flow cup. Imagine a ping pong ball floating above a blast of air, it hangs in place because of a similar law of airflow dynamics. So, lest we forget. Earth is the deer in the headlights, not Planet X. Earth is also dithering in place, like the ping pong ball, with relative positions being kept between Planet X and our Sun respectively from a solar system left to right concept. So all this simply means that Planet X is rarely visible because it is stationed on the ecliptic within the glare of the Sun due to a more or less static lineup of the constituent heavenly bodies. However, from an interplanetary perspective, Planet X is positioned momentarily between the Earth and our Sun. State of public awareness of Planet X Some of those in the know about Planet X and the pole shift have already moved to safe ground and others are quietly preparing for the main event now. But there are also many others who are dithering yes or no about Planet X that are waiting and wanting to have a clear undeniable sign that PX is near, real and a clear and present danger before they commit. Who can blame them? This is a natural condition for those who tend to rely only on visual cues to absorb such an abstract and devastating message. Of course there does exist the attachment to the concept that the political hierarchy will take care of us, so many of those cling to the hope that there will be a public announcement alerting the public to Planet X in our solar system and what that means. When you consider that there has not been an announcement yet and it's been 10 years, it is not reasonable to wait for such an unlikely event. Those people otherwise studied, are using parallel personality skills and other nerve pathways to augment their confidence in the truth of Planet X. Why? Because they sensed the truth of Planet X first, then started reading. 
Regardless, those who have studied the history of Planet X do have a basis of knowledge on the subject, so are farther ahead in being able to accept images and videos from the reliable sources valid. Of course the reliability of images and videos of Planet X is impossible to determine without the relative knowledge, experience in observing and watching for Planet X and the skill in dissecting the constituent parts of an image to determine whether it is a fake. On the other hand, there are many purported pictures and videos of Planet X on the Internet, but the majority are misdiagnosed ghost images of the sun, lens flares, sun dogs, window reflections or optical illusions of one sort or another. But we are not interested in nice pictures of the sun are we? There are still others who cannot accept the reality of Planet X until they see the raw light direct from Planet X in the sky above their heads entering their optic nerve, and even some of those will not believe until they are directly affected. These need multiple concurrent sensory stimulation real-time to break the disbelief in order to accept the existence of Planet X as a threat. Certainly this is true of all people that their body is activated to fight or flight by a direct threat, but before that, all is still abstract and subject to interpretation. Ultimately, once the yet to believe finally realize that Planet X is a temporary solar system member factoid and that they are about to experience the penultimate violent hazard, they will no longer need to see it. Finally, let's look at the timing of the passage of Planet X and the resulting pole shift. The best information source in the world concerning Planet X and the pole shift, Zeta Talk, has the run down to the pole shift in three parallel layers. The first layer is a general overview of an umbarred progression based on 10. The current phase we are in now, 2013, is the 7 out of 10. The second layer on top of that is the famous Zeta Talk predicted simplified world event sequence. I will offer a key example. And this is exactly what we are watching for now, following Africa's rolling to the west and dropping the floor of the Mediterranean, is this sequence, number 1. The devastating southern Japan, then northern Japan earthquakes separated by a matter of weeks or a short duration of months, the north and south islands are on different continental plates, sequence number 2. Then the author's town gets sloshed by a local earthquake and tsunami, Victoria, B.C. Sequence number 3. Then the New Madrid earthquakes occur, isolating the eastern U.S. seaboard, image here, sequence number 4. Very quickly after the New Madrid, 2 to 3 hours, the European tsunami will wash throughout northern Europe with a 200 to 300 foot wave. The final layer is that of the last weeks as detailed here by a current member of the poleshift.ning.com website. The importance of the sequences I have just detailed is that it can't be hidden by those who control the media for their own interests, therefore these are major flags to watch for. I believe we all have two essential outlooks against the timing of the pole shift. First, the objective approach, we have the flags, the sequences, but many still want to know when the pole shift is going to happen. The reality is that no human is to know the date of the pole shift. So we all must resolve to accept this as a fact. Human scientists do not have the math and therefore no clue and even if they did, we know it would never be published. Even if they did. Pole shift, new shocking evidence points to Earth's pole shift. Is a reversal of the Earth's magnetic poles taking place? Volcanoes, earthquakes, strange noises from the sea. New shocking evidence points to a pole shift which, if it happens fast, will cause chaos around the world. A pole reversal, when the Earth's north and south magnetic poles start to swap places, reversing the world's magnetic polarity, has happened before. Scientists who track the history of the planet have identified 74 of these events by studying core samples. These are extracted from hundreds or thousands of feet down in the ground and in the thick polar ice. A sudden shift would throw the Earth's balance out so significantly it could trigger lethal earthquakes, tsunami on a scale we can hardly imagine capable of washing right across the United States and every other major landmass, volcanic eruptions so large and widespread that the resulting ash clouds and gases could blanket the sun's rays and trigger a new sudden ice age. Scientists look for evidence of previous Armageddon-style destruction by identifying chaotic sediments where narrow layers of earth, 
rock and ice record oddball events in the Earth's history in the form of bands of mud and tiny magnetically charged fragments. To scientists, these are clear indicators of sudden floods, ice melt or ash deposits. When this is found outside a long period of the cycle of freezing and melting in the Earth's history, it is an indicator of a pole shift. Pole shifts cause a major increase in the movement of the tectonic plates, the giant lines of opposing cracks in the Earth's crust which push and grind against each other until they periodically release like a bald fist in a closed palm flicking upwards. There are now signs amongst the sharp increase in natural disasters and other strange, apparently unrelated incidents which point towards a possible reversal. It is widely recognized that magnetic north, that point at the top of the globe which compasses and devices which depend on magnetic navigation rely, is shifting increasingly quickly towards Russia from its current position above Greenland and nearer to Canada. It has moved 400 kilometers in the last decade and is accelerating. Our sun swaps its north and south pole every 11-13 years and has just done so. The effect on the sun is to stimulate the number and intensity of solar storms which can have a major effect on the earth. They can interfere with TV transmissions and power supplies. Other signs which might indicate the effects of a magnetic reversal between magnetic north and south are an unprecedented seven volcanoes which have started to erupt around the world in the last few days and a major spike of 7.0 magnitude plus earthquakes almost all of which I have witnessed personally a few days after the event as a documentary maker. The cycle started in Indonesia in 2004 and occurred again very recently in Nepal. These sharp increases in seismic activity do occur every 30 years or so and may be part of a natural ebb and flow but they are another aspect of what could be a major trend in the light of the relentless and quickening march of magnetic northeast away from its original position. Pole shift underscore rental plus national plus park. USGS and NASA are very concerned about a new magma chamber the University of Utah have discovered recently under Yellowstone National Park in addition to the enormous lake of molten rock and iron they already knew about. This one is an astonishing 11 times the volume of the Grand Canyon. A sudden pole shift could become the push the magma chamber with the surface area of Los Angeles needs to blow up. If it does, most of North America would be destroyed instantly and a new ice age would begin. Another story which begs the question what on earth is going on is a 300 meter, 900 feet, high island which has appeared from the seabed just north of the tip of Japan in just one night. This area was the origin of the 8.9 magnitude earthquake which ripped through Japan in 2011, causing one of the worst tsunami of all time. Sections of crustal plates which suddenly move under enormous heat and pressure which cause earthquakes and tsunami have been known to move dramatically, although it is often never seen as it occurs miles down on the seabed. A new shelf 800 kilometers, 500 miles, and 60 meter, 180 feet high, appeared off the west coast of Indonesia in 2004 which triggered the infamous tsunami wave which swept completely around the Earth's circumference three times. The new Japanese landmass appeared at almost exactly the same time as the Nepal 7.7 magnitude earthquake took place 5,000 kilometers, 3,000 miles, away at the opposite end of the Eurasian tectonic plate. Finally the weirdest account of nature behaving strangely are reports of a strange humming noise coming from the sea. Scientists have explained this as the effect of the currents running through the oceans. This is the effect.